just watched us plant all of our acres. We spent many long hours, days and nights in the tractor planting our field and our little seeds are actually starting to sprout now. But we have kind of an interesting implement hooked up to the tractor right now. We have a field cultivator hooked up. Now, that is definitely not for planting. It's kind of for the opposite. It's for turning the dirt up. We are going to be going out into the field and tearing up the field. But don't worry, it's only in one little spot. <laughs> As you guys know, we have pivot irrigation. So we have access to deep wells and water, but in order to get out to those pivot points, to actually start the pivots, to start the water pumping and watering our crops, we have to be able to drive out there. So we, once a year, after we've planted every time, everything in the springtime, we just make a little pass out there and that is our pivot road for the year. I mean, it's big enough that we can usually just drive a four-wheeler out there, but if need be, a pickup with tools that we can fix the well engines with or uh, spare parts it gives us an access road to get um, out to the towers a little bit easier so if a tire gets flat or a gearbox goes bad just gives us a way through the field so we're in the John Deere 7810 that's our loader tractor and we're gonna go head up to disc up our field here's the tractor we're working with there's Scotty don't worry as soon as the tractor actually turns on he runs away we're good to always watch for him make sure he doesn't get run over but here's the loader tractor. This is Grant's favorite tractor on the farm. And I believe if you asked him, he would probably say of all time. He really likes his tractor and it is very, very handy. You can have those forks on the front or you can have a bucket. Uh, this is the tractor that we put a crane on the back of and moved all those pivot spans with. Scotty's just following me around. Come on, come on. Oh. See, now this is why he can't come inside, because he rolls around in the dirt. Little Scotty, say hello to everybody. And as you guys have noticed, he does have that bad eye. But I took him to the vet, and she said there's nothing I can do about it. He still catches a lot of mice, though. Dirty little guy. <laughs> Anyways, hooked up, we have a sunflower field cultivator. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but... This thing has definitely seen better days. Tires kind of falling apart. There's certainly some kind of hydraulic leak going on there. Um, look at how worn. That used to be an actual pointed shovel. Clearly not anymore. This is the only task on the farm that the field cultivator is used for, is making these pivot roads. So. We just pull this out of the trees when it's time and then it goes and gets parked right back where it was. What do you think, Scotty? Should we head out? As you guys know, there's not exactly a buddy seat in this tractor, so when Grant and I want to ride together, this is this is my seat here. Here we are. Look at the little sprouts coming up. Little soybeans. Little baby soybeans. Okay, so there's the pivot point out there in the middle of the field, right down there. You can see where the pivot road was last year, but we are not going to make it in the same spot. We are going to make it a little bit over to reduce compaction and erosion. We move the pivot road around every single year so that the dirt there doesn't wear away over time. Don't even unfold it. Just sacrificing a few beans. For the benefit of many. Knocking out the ridges. <laughs> it's a little bumpy in here. <laughs> Slowly but steady, making our way towards the middle. Sorry, little plants. 
in reality this is such a tiny tiny little portion of the field the field goes all the way over there all the way over there and all the way over there so don't worry there's plenty more soybeans start this pivot many times. This is the well motor that was we rebuilt over the winter and then we put it back out here, set it all up on that super, super windy day and service this pivot. And so then this is gonna be our road this summer to get back out to it. Now we just go back over what we just did. No auto steer lines or monitors in this cab. <laughs> That's for sure. Grant's just picking a spot and trying to drive as straight as he possibly can. But I will say, without all those screens, you get such a beautiful 360 view of the landscape. It is a gorgeous day outside, terribly windy, but I couldn't expect that. But the sky is blue and there's sunshine and just a few clouds in the sky. It's truly a beautiful day. I'm so grateful to live in Nebraska. I don't think this mirror is doing anyone any good. <laughs> it looks a little floppy, Grant. Yeah, I got to flip back as soon as this tractor got on the farm. No one has looked at it since. We have this one. But that's, that's about all we use. I know on camera it looks as flat as can be, as far as the eye can see, and just nothing but crop ground. But there's actually a lot of texture to the terrain out here in the low spots where there's creeks, there's a lot of trees and there's a lot of cow grazing that happens out here. So I know it looks kind of desolate, but <laughs> it's way better in person, I promise. A little fun fact for you guys. Tractors like we're in right now, this loader tractor only goes about 25 miles an hour. Sprayers go a little bit faster. Sprayers are usually more like 35 miles an hour. And the fastest piece of farm equipment that I know of is a dry fertilizer sprayer. And those go 45, right? Yeah, they go fast. So like I, 40 I think I think they go about 45 miles an hour, but which is have, crazy. They have like air brakes and like proper yeah. uh, proper uh, road worthy equipment on it. This thing. These tractors are meant to be in the field. We just go like on our farm, luckily all our stuff is really close together. So it's like you maybe drive five miles at a time. There's some farmers who do drive longer, but I mean, we're going 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour when you have an implement hooked up behind you. It's probably just about as fast as you want to go. I don't know if you saw the condition of the tires that were on this thing. I don't think it could handle much more than 20 miles an hour. But once you get on the road, you just kind of pop your flashers on. And we live in a super rural community, so it's not a really big deal to see tractors going down the road because that's most old. of the traffic we see on this road is just farmers that's and tractors and semi-trucks driving around. Our tractors do not need to be licensed because we never really drive them on paved roads. They're just on the county roads. So you just kind of hop on, get from field to field, do your business, and go back to the farm.
Motor Tractor, on to a new project. Well, hello, Miss Betty. The audience hasn't seen you in a while. This is Grant's parents' dog, Betty. She's a mini Australian Shepherd and just about the most hyper dog you've ever seen. She's in full speed mode all the time. Loves big pets. I loves the pets. <laughs> this dog is the opposite of Scotty. Scotty doesn't do much at all. Betty, Betty, oh, come over here, come over here. Betty is super hyper. <laughs> See that pivot right there? Well, it's missing a part. One of these, there's a sprinkler that actually distributes the water from the pivot pipe out to the field. So the water comes up and then it just like. It's just like a lawn sprinkler, but there's just like a hundred of them on there. This is also another Sinager product, just like the other sprinklers we installed. This is just a different style. So I am going to be lifted up in the JLG and going to attach that sprinkler on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.